Hi everyone, it's kind of gonna be hard because I'm putting voice over over my original video which I uh, tape in Russian. I hope it will work great. Anyway, right now I can show you how I prepare my bean bag for this particular show, which is baby on the belly. Uh, on the left top corner, I made a video which actually shows what I have inside and under, under all this pretty fabric. That's where I think a lot of things happens and the end image depends how well you prepare your bean bag. I place the baby on two beans and I actually I work with lots of different posers like a posing ball or posing ring. It depends. This is just the request for this video. This is why I'm sharing it. Anyway, when I prepare the bean bag, I just I usually make sure I do not put too many layers under it because I want to save that uh, nice firm look of my backdrop and if you put too much fabrics it's just gonna be messy in the end. This baby a little bit fussy. I usually pose the baby uh, in my hands before I put in the bean bag uh, but like I said it depends on the baby. Here I use a little weight in the baby, which is purchased from different from the other photo, my colleague photographer. I really like it. I will um, post the link below where I bought it, but I absolutely love it. Okay, right now you saw where I put the baby. Make sure the baby head is not too much on the beanbag, not like hanging over or not too inside because either or it's not gonna look pretty. Make sure the baby's kind of cheek resting on the bean and the hand supporting the chin. Make sure the hand doesn't go here, it's too far or hiding inside. And look for this shadow. You don't want this shadow to be too, too big or this gap uh, gonna, uh, will be too big. It's not that pretty. If I, if I can, I will probably um, adjust the hand the way when the, all the fingers pointing towards me, which is look prettier. But if baby is too awake or fussy, I'm not going to do that. It doesn't worth, it's not worth it. Um, that's still really pretty. And also I will leave the supporting uh, pillow, this weight pillow on the baby and I put the pretty fabric over and already now I can start uh, to take my photos. I don't want to waste any time and I have a chance when I just leave the baby alone the way she is, I still can get great images. I have a little vibrating pillow, vibration pillow sometimes I put over the baby, uh, but sometimes works, sometimes not. I don't know actually um, the way <laughs> it's a hundred percent useful for photographers. Anyway, this picture, uh, this particular shot, I will take, uh, I will shoot with the natural light, and I'm not gonna take a picture too much over from the window or from the chin. Uh, in the right top corner, you see right now my camera and what I see. That's the not the angles I want. The angle I want, I want to make sure the face is visible and I can see it and nothing blurry. I do not go too low. I'm not going to go over too. I will go just close to the baby, pearl my lens to the baby face and slowly go back. This is the image I want. And make sure you pick the aperture you're comfortable with. If you will open your aperture too much, which is like 1.4, 1.6, and you're not comfortable with it, it's just gonna be blurry. It is gonna be a mess. Uh, I think the most comfortable aperture for this kind of picture probably 2.0. And I'm not talking about right now shutter speed because it all depends on the environment we're shooting. And as you see in the video, my being back set a little bit uh, towards the wall in my studio because I like my light to go across the baby and not too much on the backdrop. I like to I like the back, backdrop to be a little bit dark and I tilt my camera when I'm shooting um, a portrait. I till I uh, mm, my sharpness point is on, on the eye which is close to me. A baby hat is on the angle 
uh, 45 degree angled um, from the beam bag and I tilt my and I'm tilting my camera towards the light source just a little bit to get the, that dynamic in the picture I think is how I say it and I took few uh, I'm taking several photos with portraits it can be vertical it can be horizontal just remember when you take the photos the focal point always in the uh, on the eye closest to you this is how you get this perfect look even if you open your aperture I usually shoot with 1.6 1.8 but I do have a lot of experience but if you're not experienced photographer I suggest you start from 2.2 2.0 and slowly uh, move to the 1.8 six if you want next i will just put the head just to get the variety of the pictures and i put the heads or headbands towards uh, the end of the pose make sure i got that image and i have something to give to my clients